Hey Taurus, TT here with another channel message. If you are new to the channel, welcome to our little love nest over here on Talk Taurus Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This is a channel message for you, Taurus. All right, so this is a message from your person, a channel message from your divine feminine, your divine masculine, your divine counterpart. Um, whatever you want to call it. So there's something specific about this day, Taurus. When you watch this video, it should be a Wednesday, okay? And Spirit is telling me to specify the time because it means something to someone. I don't know who you are specifically, but um, Spirit is asking, your person is asking you to take charge of a situation. Um, there's something that they're unable to say. Or there's something that they're unable to do and they want you to take charge of the situation and guide it i feel like they're going to kind of be tapped out or they're they're yeah it's like tapped it out so they're like telling you to tap in okay something about you tap in telepathically with them um and you take the lead okay they're going to allow you to take the lead in this situation um because of this imprisonment something is restricting them okay and it's like whatever they say this person is watching it like a hawk or whatever they do anything that they do in relation to you they're watching it like a hawk or they're doing x y and z so they're asking you to telepathically tune in with them okay and you see how we're here like you see the crown being placed on your head so you're going to be rec receiving messages telepathically from this person specifically on this day and they're asking you to put on your armor Taurus okay like it's okay to be emotional and vulnerable you don't have to say anything with your words okay a true lead leader doesn't have to be loud and boisterous a true leader doesn't have to be um the first or the loudest person to speak usually the leader is <laughs> already understands the student or the assignment or what's happening in the situation so you're being given like a bird's eye view so they're telling you to let your friends help you for many of you your friends is your lover or your friend is also your guides okay your ancestors they're going to be giving you the wreath or the messages or the words to say okay in this particular situation i don't know something's someone's going to be hurting in their feelings but it ain't going to be you taurus okay it ain't about to be you. Spirit, can you show me this leadership situation exactly what it's in regards to for Taurus? Yep, telepathy. It's in regards to for Taurus. The chariot. So I'm getting how you move. Okay, how you take charge forward movement action forward they're going to let you take the reins whatever you decide that's what goes towards okay what move you take what action you take is like only the queen right on a check in a chess game can check the king right all the other pieces are removed so what they're saying to you is that you're going to be the the queen on this chessboard male or female and they want you to take control like don't don't sit back and just let you know wait on them like say something do something you know speak up for yourself you don't need to be like that okay that's what they're saying you don't have to your guides are saying you don't have to handle the situation like that because this person is going to be talking to you on a whole nother frequency the high priestess okay look at that so they want you to have the confidence especially on this day to deal with this situation um specifically let's see what the war or battle is about what is this war or battle about on this day now spirit is telling me that on a wednesday which is when this video is coming out but even if you watch this for those of you tauruses that are guided to watch this i don't know years from now it's still gonna happen on a wednesday communication and telepathy of this situation is still going to happen on a wednesday 
and you're gonna be like what the fuck today is wednesday and this shit just happened so they want you to to not hold on too tightly to like which wednesday because some of you will watch this years from now and it's still gonna fall on a wednesday something about a wednesday yeah look at that what's the battle the five of swords five of cups someone's in their feelings and they're going to be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. You, And, and it's all emotional manipulation. I don't want to mess up. Okay, but you see how instead of having a sword in her hand, she has a cup. And as much as you may not like this person or as much as you may know that this person is emotionally manipulating a situation, um, some of you may even meet like, you know the the in-laws right and they're like i just really wanted my 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 child to be with this person they might say some crazy stuff to you who knows some of you they're going to be talking about you know this is someone that's just like woe is me they're always looking at what um they always need this emotional validation and it's some emotional manipulation and you know it taurus so they're telling you to handle this situation it's like you're going to be the mature person in this entire dialogue or however this plays out that you really have more control of of the narrative and where it goes because you're aware of the back play you're aware of the manipulation games that this person is playing so they're telling you remember that you're playing chess and not checkers okay nine of wands can I see this true love situation? Six of swords. Yeah, moving on to calmer waters. Like you have nothing to compete for because you can see this person's lies. You can see this person's lies and you see how like, it's like this person is knows that you can see it and they want you to, to use your telepathy, use your intuition to see it for what it is. They're aware that this person is doing it too. But I feel like this person, like I said, maybe they don't want to trigger the person off to where they want to put them on child support. Maybe they don't want to trigger, tip this person off because then they don't want to participate and co-parent better or maybe they have a business and they work with this person and they're not trying to get fired from their job it's different for every single one of you um mm -hmm. spirit is saying you don't have to be triggered in this situation that's just what they keep stressing please don't get triggered towards be the bigger person like your spiritual team is asking you to be the bigger person in this dynamic yeah, seven of wands. They've been dealing with this person on their own. They've been blocking this person's advances on their own, and they're tired. So they're going to be like, you tap in. I didn't, I've been dealing with this motherfucker all week. Taurus, I've been waiting for this day, so I don't have to listen to this person. This person tolerates them, but they cannot stand. Okay, they cannot stand this energy. Because they're tired of constantly, like... <sighs> helping them figure out solutions to their own problems and some of you are saying right now that are watching this video well then he need they need to speak up for themselves or she need to speak up for themselves i'm not going to be the person to always tell them what they should be saying no this person is not asking you to speak on their behalf they're asking you to see what they see and to move accordingly it's just that simple it's not that hard it's only as hard as you make it here, clarify this five of cups energy for me. Ignore the distractions, okay? Even the distractions you hear in my background, ignore it. It's just noise. This person likes to make noise. Some of you, they're going to really be arguing and loud. And they're going, you may even hear them in the background while you're on the phone talking to them. Or you're face to face with this person. And you're like, you know what? Um, I could run away from this. I could I could leave this entire situation behind. Spirits are already saying they know you could do that. But this is a part of um it's like it's a part of something bigger. I don't know how to explain it to you. But for those that understand, you understand why why you're in the middle of this. You know? 
Clarify this five of cups. Change. Yep. Mm -hmm. This person feels this person changing and they're going to go through a grieving moment. And the only thing they know how to do to get a person back is to stump their feet, have a tantrum, have a tantrum and be needy. This person is needy. They need a lot of shit. They just do. And it's their emotional manipulation. They're, they want this person to choose them. They want this person to like validate for them that they're the one. And I mean, with this wars and conflict, there's more than one person involved. And they're talking to this person and amping them up. Whoever this person is that's, that's um, directly connected to your person through, through you or connected to you through your person they have other people given in the backbone this person doesn't have any back any backbone it's really it's really other people that are like oh hell no don't let that person win don't let that person you know fight for this person they're encouraging their friends are helping them their family is helping them and encouraging them to fight for your person don't give up like that you don't give up on your marriage. You don't give up on that relationship. No matter how unhappy they are, they're pushing them closer, trying to push them closer, closer together. And like you're the you're the only light in this situation. And this person is saying that they're t they're tired. All right, so they need you to tap in and take control of the situation. No matter if it's you're at their house or 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 what you might be saying, well, I don't have no rights to this person myself or I can't. This is this person's place of business or this is this person's house. I'm a visitor, whatever it is. You're going to know. All right. We're going to see how spirit wants you to take the lead and see if we can get you some confirmations. survival fears i'm telling you look at that five of cups survival fears they're so afraid this is their survival mechanism and the crazy part about it this person is old as hell and they're they're behaving like this 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 karmic is behaving like that it's like they don't want to they don't want to share this person with anyone they're afraid of them having too much alone time with you too as well taurus wow They're so afraid that a long time with you, Taurus, is going to change this person permanently. Okay? Abandonment. So, here's the thing. Um, taking control of the situation or you taking the leadership role and being rising above the situation is because you understand what this person is going through you know this person you know this karmic is dealing with abandonment issues you know this person is grieving some of you have had to grieve a, a relationship maybe you were in a karmic relationship before and you had to grieve that process and maybe you held on to you know when you were immature or when you were at a place in your life um before you got your new consciousness right before you could see who your one really was there's a moment where maybe you were in that person's shoes. And so they're asking you to, to remember what it felt like when you were in that person's shoes. Some of you have gotten that desperate before to get your person back and fight for them. And you were taught that way by your parents or you were taught that way in that paradigm. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your relationships. You don't give up. People just don't want to see us together. So they're asking you to empathize with this person from a leadership role. Okay, regardless of how you can see their tactics, their control tactics, um, understand that it's really just an underlying fear. It's a fear of losing something that they know. They know the potential of this person. They know the. They see the greatness in them. They're just not on their level, and they weren't. They weren't meant to be the one for them. But they don't want to see it like that. 
It's like, why would God give me someone to experience this great person with and then take it away from me? So they're still grieving that reality check that um, it was meant to be a lesson. It was meant to be a blessing for a while, for, for a while but not always. <laughs> Alone time. I told you this person is so afraid of you traveling to have alone time with them they are they feel like if you were in the same vicinity that you would awaken this person to spiritual sovereignty that if you were in the same area as this person that you guys would align you see how these two people are aligned here and everything source is channeling up it they're so scared that interaction with you Taurus is going to be like being revived again awakened again and whatever spell or illusion that they've been under whatever guilt tripping control tactics they've been under that it won't work anymore so that's why they are so petrified and I feel like your person is feeling the stings of it or the back end of it and they don't want to be a bad person your person is not a bad person this true love soulmate here that you have they are not a bad person they're a lover not a fighter and and these karmics know this about your person they're a lover not a fighter and they're and it's being exploited guilt tripping them protectiveness yes they need you to protect them they need your help self-sacrifice again this person there's they have unfinished business and it's a part of their lesson and all spirit is asking you to do all your person's higher self is asking of you to do is is to fill in the missing links okay fill in the missing link where they where they are unable to understand or know so just fill in the missing link and and it's not through words is through energy because you operate from a, a space of integrity okay you operate from a space of integrity you you're a way shower you show people the way okay and that's that's the community so this person is is trying to figure it out all right this person is naturally a protector so they protect what they believe in. They protect their friends. They protect their family. They protect their their loyal, okay? But they can't quite figure out why it has to feel like a punishment. And that's what they're learning. And as they're learning that, Spirit is just asking you to... Not to enable this person... But because you love them, you hold them accountable. And a part of holding them accountable is going to look different for each and every single one of you. But in these situations, you can still hold someone accountable and still see that and still take the high road. Right. This person is going to realize the difference between the two. This was set up this way. For some of you, you're about to be in the same room or maybe you've already been in the same room. But it's like you, the karmic, and this person are about to be like in the same proximity. Even if it's on the telephone, you might be on the same telephone call, three-way. I don't know. It's going to be different for every single one of you. But they're asking you to take the, the high road because they're like, this person is grieving, Taurus. What do I do? I don't, I'm not a cold hearted person. And I don't think you would want this person to be a cold hearted person. For whoever I'm tapping into, you are such an evolved soul. It's so crazy. You are fucking amazing. They don't make them like you anymore. You know what I'm saying? Any other messages for Taurus from you? Journey. They're like, please don't cancel the plans. Okay. They're like, regardless of what happens, please don't cancel on me. Please don't cancel the plans. Please don't walk away. I mean, like I said, when I say walk away, maybe you guys have plans to see each other. You got to have arrangements that you guys have talked about telepathically. This is telepathic communication. All right. Serendipity moments is not happening by coincidence. Everything is happening by divine order. 
that's the best way that I could explain it to you, Taurus, because that's what I'm seeing. Um, let's see. Any other messages for Taurus? Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Mmm. Yeah. So, the car making you may be the same sex. Alright, so if you're a female, the karmic's a female. And they're asking you not to boil over. Please don't put this person in their place, Taurus. Please don't lose your cool. Please don't snap. Okay? They're learning. <laughs> Remember their consciousness level. They're asking you to be their friend as well. During this time, they just need a friend. Someone that they could be friends with as they sort this out. Um, as they go through this transition and these tower moments, they're like, just be their friends. Please don't close the door. Please don't get so mad that you close off your love, that you close off your feelings, and you become cold-hearted because they can't take it. It'll only push them deeper into it with them. That's what they're saying. If you close off your love to me, even energetically, I don't think I can fight this energy because I, I'm, I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. Your person's a lover, not a fighter. They don't know how to... They're still... They have this teenage way of love, this childlike nature and love. Because if you're an earth angel and that's your true love, they're an earth angel too. So they're asking you to... Hey Taurus, I am back. So it looks like I lost some memory on my phone. But neither, nonetheless, what I was saying was um, with this true love, they're asking you to allow them to mature. Okay. And a part of that mature process may be where you guys mature during your alone time apart from each other. Okay, like your alone time with your divine, like you with spirit, them with their own spirit. And during that alone time, they learn. They learn how to stand up for this connection. They learn how to mature um, at their own pace here. Okay. So let's get some messages. From your person. <clears throat> Happy hump day. <laughs> we get some messages from your person. Here. What messages do you have? for Taurus oh that's just too much this person has a lot to say to you that they haven't said I feel like when this person um I don't like to compete I wear that wear that scent I like it's so natural so this person loves your um how natural you are they're pretty much saying like you're the most authentic person that they have in their life okay Taurus I feel like there's so much that this person is it's like a Something is bottling up and it's when this person has the opportunity to really let it all out. They have a lot that they want to say. That's what I'm picking up. Do you ever take a break? Okay, so this person feels like you work a lot, Taurus. Okay, our secret. This could be a secret connection that you guys have established between each other. Um, I feel like both of you are pretty secretive. Neither one of you really likes to have people in your private life. Um whether that's friends or family you're just the type of a connection that just doesn't like prying eyes i couldn't take off from work i'm sorry okay so there may be a situation where someone was unavail unable to take off work conflict of time we're still talking about work so this this, this connection takes a lot of work um but i do feel like there's something about this person saying that they um they work a lot okay so this person like when they're not working you're working and when they're working you're not working so you guys schedule seems to be strained already like i was picking up earlier it says i rewatched the videos you sent okay maybe you've sent this person videos before what else do you would you like to say to taurus during this time 
I told you you'll say my name okay so a lot of sexual energy is coming up maybe that was something that you guys used to make a joke about let's see I will prove all we will prove all them wrong okay so that's that psychic connection here that you have some of you some of you guys you were told that um y'all wouldn't work out or y'all just too different and they're saying that you guys will prove people wrong it says close the curtains not yet so i'm just picking up hotel motel holiday inn whatever you want to call it uh they don't want it to end it's like one of those situations where both of you guys have to go back to work or something like that the work over i work overtime to see you happy so someone may be literally going to work all the time so the other person can see them or they just they work a lot because they're saving up money um or they have intentions with all these travel cards to see you it could be across state lines or countries and it takes it's an expensive trip okay um the sun hit your face just right I'm getting an image of like two people laying in bed okay and that's like they're saying like we got to get up and go to work or go back to our regular lives and someone opens the curtain and someone is like looking at you sleep or looking at the other person sleep and they're saying like the way that the sun hit your face when they opened the curtains made them feel like um they were just blessed to have you in their life play fighting pillows tickles fun games so this person is having a lot of fantasies about the things that you guys will do together when you guys have your alone times gifts from multiples hmm i know this happens every year okay so someone is telling like i said fight harder not to give up on this um situation and they're saying uh keep thriving don't hide your face um i support all your wild dreams so this is someone that's supportive of you this is someone that wants you to know that they're like a cheerleader in your life they really care about you um they may have multiple accounts or they just look for small ways to make you smile um this may have happened before where your schedules were off and things just didn't work out for the two of you. So someone is asking you, Taurus, not to give up on this connection and to fight harder. So that's the message that I have for you, Taurus. I am sending you an abundance of love, protection and guidance on your journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Taurus.